Marcus, it's a point this evening at Leighton Orient, but is that one of frustration being a man, having a man advantage in the second half? There's certainly frustration in the dressing room from the players, but I've had to remind them they've come a long way before we came in. The frustration was another game lost. This is now two, two tough away trips, two games unbeaten, and yes, it's, it's a great sign up. We're frustrated that we haven't, we haven't picked up three points, so uh, for me, we're going in the right direction. Absolutely, and with 10 men you could have arguably called, called Leighton Orient the underdogs, but on the flip side, with the injuries, we're almost threadbare and it's a fantastic effort tonight from the Blues players, isn't it? What we, what we didn't want tonight was an injury, because in terms of it probably would have disrupted our system, because obviously just the options on the bench, but we didn't anticipate a sending off. Um, and like I said, just towards the end, obviously, Normally you have a plan B, plan C, and personnel change that. Um, so we were limited in terms of what we could do, but in terms of the players, they gave everything tonight. We changed the system a few times just to get us back in the game, get us into goal scoring opportunities. And we got into those areas, we just couldn't create chances from it. Um, so, no, overall, you know, that's two games on B and I'll look at it like that. And of course, we talk about improvements, one goal down after six minutes under the cosh. The lads managed to turn it round and we were in front at half time, so that's another positive. Isn't it? For me, this group's getting mentally stronger and it's changing the mindset of not losing football matches. And we're doing that and well, because when we have lost a match, we haven't lost a back to back since we've been in charge in the league. So that's a, again another step in the right direction. But again, now it's changing that mentality in terms of. We're a well-organised team. We're hard to beat. We're playing some good football. It's now how do you get those? How do you get those wins? And again, they're frustrated tonight because that was an opportunity missed where they could have got um, the three points. And of course, strikers once again feed off that that positivity and confidence. And Ross Hanna off the back of a goal on Saturday took another goal brilliantly tonight, didn't he? Yeah, and we've. We've had absolutely faith in Ross and we only knew it was a matter of time before he'd get on the score sheet. I think people are too quick to fit, talk about what he'd done before. You know, the Ross I see now is a very good player. He's probably a better player than he was before. And he'll get his rewards and he, and he has lately. Obviously, he's disappointed uh, with the penalty right on the stroke half time because I just think that would have just changed the whole game. But listen, like I said to the players, tonight's result, one point of three points. We've still got 20 odd games to go, so it won't determine our destiny. Um, but certainly tonight is another step in the right direction. A Tuesday night down in London, 170 Blues fans here tonight, and you went straight across at full time to give them their, their rightful applause. They were superb tonight, weren't they? No, listen, and um, sometimes I, I, I wish I wasn't in a technical area and I, and I was with them in the terraces um, supporting because I'm a supporter at heart. I love the game. and. Um, no, I appreciate our supporters and it was great, the appreciation. They understand the situation we're in um, and that's great when you've got supporters who understand um, where we are as a football club, the difficulties we're facing um, and you get that support. It only makes me look forward to going into work, having gone over and got in that reception myself personally and the group of players. Um, it only makes us just want to work harder for them. Um, so yeah, bring on Thursday, bring on Saturday. The lights are slowly going off now, so I think they want us to wrap up. But one more question, Dagenham on Saturday in front of the TV cameras, another chance to impress? Yeah, we certainly impressed the last time we were on the TV, um, but it wasn't the result we wanted. So let's, let's impress again and let's go and get that result and let's turn these two away points um, into a really good week with three points at home.